The Seven Rings of Hell, unpublished, 2018. In the depths below, in the afterlife, where souls do dwell lies for all a realm of darkness, called the Seven Rings of Hell. These concentric circles is located in each sinner within and they are only visible, accessible after a violent death. It is a place of punishment, a place of endless, endless pain where all of the wicked and the guilty are forever bound, metaphorically, in heavy, rusty chains. In the first ring of hell, the very first, there is a river of fire where tainted souls are scorched in a never-ending pyre. A quick welcome to hell for all these roasted liars. In the second ring, there is a land of freezing cold and ice where all the lustful souls scream while being sacrificed. The rules of an utterly infernal reign. The third ring is a desert with no maps and no escape where obese souls are lost, dazed in a scorching heatwave. The entrance to each ring is a deep ominous cave. The fourth ring, a forest forever darkened and dense where greedy souls wander, with no hope or defense. The rings don't allow logic or any common sense. The fifth ring, a vast city of wicked darkness and despair where wrathful souls are trapped in their worst nightmare. The demons here don't stop or provide care. The sixth ring, a living swamp with no visible escape where heretic souls are slowly drowned in a watery fate. All method of evil is in the rings unrestrained. The seventh ring, the final ring, the final destination where the most violent are punished, with no liberation. It is a place of pitch darkness, a place of echoing woe. Here the souls are trapped in a state of eternal sorrow. The seventh ring is a place where new demons are made. Hope not ever to see heaven. I have come to lead you to the other shore, into eternal darkness, into fire and into ice. Black equals color of enigma, unpublished, 2023. Black, it is an absence of light, so they say. The absence, like our dying love. A shadow, embraced by the night, a mystery, a veil, a shroud, like that last passion of ours, a darkness, that in our hearts must, must be once more allowed. Black, the color of the void, a space of nothing, never enjoyed, a canvas that begs to be filled, a lie that never can be revealed, like those words you whispered, like those songs you sang. Black, the color of the infinite, a bottomless pit that beckons and admits it is the dead zone. Black, as you shimmering hair, a gate that leads to the unknown, a journey that is best taken alone. Black, it is the color of the hidden, like all of your secrets, untouched, unspoken, a festering disease, a cloak that conceals the forbidden, a secret that cannot be spoken, a mystery that remains unbroken. Black, the color of the sublime, a shadow that is both dark and divine, a portal that leads to the other side, a bridge that connects what is denied. Black, the color of the postponed, a rift in time that cannot be shown, a chasm that cannot be crossed, a mystery that is forever embossed. Black, the color of the enigma, as you and your irresistible charisma, the fabricated purgatory, rewritten, unpublished, 2017, in fiery pits where demons dwell the souls of sinners burn and swell. A place of pain of eternal fright where those who err are punished right. The flames lick at their wretched skin as screams of their agony begin. Their eyes alight with endless fear as Satan's laughter fills their ear. For those who believe in this grim fate, their souls must suffer, desolate. They seek to live a righteous life to avoid this place of endless strife. But some are bound to fall astray and for their sins, they'll surely pay. They cling to faith with all their might, hoping to escape the eternal blight. For them, this hell is all too real, a warning to avoid the dark, 
life's ordeals, but for others, it's just a myth, a tale to scare, to make people think straight. Still, for those who hold this view, their hearts and souls are tried and true. For they believe in a greater force that guides them on their righteous course. And though this hell may seem extreme, it serves as a reminder to redeem, to strive for goodness, truth, and love, and find salvation from the above. The Pyramid, unpublished, alt, version, Solus, 2021, the pinnacle I've reached so many times, but also delved down to the grime, where the wealth is sweat quenches thirst, and pains of the invisible and unheard, by a framework of society that's strange, forces me to flee, to seek an exchange. Gazing up at the apex of inhumanity, amidst the vertex of despair's infinity, the lapis lazuli sky taunts us all, with forgotten stars, builders' names are Paul, on the pyramid's peak, we dance, ancient forms, embraced in a trance, glitter from Pharaoh's mask to enhance, carried by desert winds in its expanse, let's beautify those below the pyramid's side, slaves on the line, tugging at the rope, denied, each plateau of the pyramid a dream, only a few reach it, most wither at the seam. God's Playground, unpublished, alt, version, Solus, 2021, emptiness, compressed and forgotten, silent lines flash, breakdown begotten, unfriendliness, like our empty husks, a creature's final defiant thrust. Do you love your world? Is this God's Playground? Some may ask, where despair and destruction bask, or is it just an endless void, a shell, where life's last breath comes to dwell? Do you represent your world? Yet, perhaps there's more than meets the eye, in this place where everything seems to die, for in the emptiness, there's room to create, a space for something new, to take shape. The false star, unpublished, alt, Version, Solus, 2021, a never-ending dance of experienced strife, we can only laugh, only cry, what is life, yearning to rise and reach the moon, foolish, you upright apes, so out of tune, we covet what our neighbors possess, our disharmonious laments, an excess, thinking we hold knowledge in our grasp, Ignoring self-reflection, this fruitless task. Only motivated by self-pity's hardened grip, our remorse. Nothing, a meaningless blip. Everything we do, to gain more ground, to leave those stealing the light astound. The false star, its shine, should only fall upon the most popular, the one ignoring all. A selfish game we play with utter glee, while the truth remains we still fail to see. Colossus Femina, inspired by The New Colossus by Emma Lazarus, unpublished, 2023. Unlike the famed Greek giant's bold stance, conquering with limbs that spanned from shore to shore, here, by our sea-washed gates aglow at sunset, stands a woman mighty, holding a torch, her flame, the lightning held captive, and her name, the mother of exiles, welcoming far and wide, her gentle eyes command the air-bridged harbor frame, the twin cities view, a gateway open wide. Keep your storied pomp, O ancient lands, she cries, with lips now silent, give me your paw, your tired, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, despised. The wretched refuse of your overflowing shores, fired by the tempest, homeless, all can reach my golden door. I hold my lamp and welcome them ashore. As death took my hand, inspired by Because I Could Not Stop for Death, by Emily Dickinson, unpublished, 2023. As death could not hold his stride for me, I stopped, and he kindly offered his hand. 
his carriage carried just ourselves and immortality as his loyal band. Determination, inspired by The Second Coming by William Butler Yeats, unpublished 2023, in the vast and expanding spiral of flight, the falcon and falconer are worlds apart. Things shatter and scatter, center losing its might, and chaos spreads, anarchy reigns in every heart. The blood tide rises, drowning innocence whole, as the best lack conviction and the worst are full of fervent passion, determined in their role. Through twisting paths, inspired by Ode to Nightingale by John Keats, unpublished, 2023, away, away, I'll fly to thee, not by Bacchus or his leopards led, but on the unseen wings of Posey, though confusion clouds my head, with thee I am, in this tender night, where the queen moon may sit in front, encircled by her starry sprites, yet here, no light has shone, save what the breeze may carry, through twisting paths of green and dewy stone. I cannot see thy face, but I can feel thy breath, and sense thy presence in this tranquil place, as I roam the shadowy realms of death, seeking refuge in thy warm embrace. In the world that surrounds U.S., dedicated to James Douglas Morrison, unpublished, 2023, freedom, they say, can be found in books, but also at the end of an rifle. They say madmen rule our prisons, and we're all playing along, nodding, keeping our cool, playing within those walls, white, Protestant and free, but we're lost in a maelstrom, desperate, scattered as loose debris. Perched on the edge of an abyss called boredom, let's start a war, let's start a religion, a balancing act with death watching, we reach for you death, we reach for you. On a flickering candle's column, we strive for something that's already found us, did it find us, above the street, beneath that moon, in the darkness, inside a void, in this dream, in this world that surrounds us. The Pulsing Dream, dedicated to James Douglas Morrison, unpublished 2023, release the dreams that cling to your hair, my sweet, my fair, my darling child, choose your path, choose your sign, and now wisely point out the first of all the divine. Open your mind. A vast and shining beach appears beneath that cool, distant moon. We are devoid of all fears. The shadows makes the trees look majestic, dangerous. A naked couple races down, down its peaceful shore, and we laugh like children together with the waves, so wild and pure. Music and voices surround us, as we continue to see, the ancient ones, they croon and sway, as the time has come for us to choose today. We enter the forest of our dreams, and take hold of that hot, pulsing dream, and with it, inside it, we now dance, as everything breaks up, around us. The dark streets, unpublished 2023 there's something inside of us that's about to break there's something inside of us that make us wander down those darkened streets we can't quite put our finger on it understand it it's like a feeling we can't shake but it's there a restless stirring that our soul meets we yearn for something more the mundane routine, a purpose beyond the confines of our daily grind, a glimpse of a life that's vibrant and pristine, a chance to break free and leave it all behind. There's something inside of us that's about to snap. There's something inside of us that make us run once more down those darkened streets. We feel it in the music that moves us to tears, in the beauty of art that speaks to our soul, in moments of connection that banish fears. 
So we'll wander down those darkened streets, searching for our own true way, trusting that the path will become clear in time. Life's Tumultuous Strain, unpublished, 2023. Who comes to all in turn? Who comes there? With bated breath, we wait and grieve as he steals what we yearn. In his grip, there lies a peace, a release from earthly pain. A final rest, a sweet release, from life's tumultuous strain. An ode to fading beauty, dedicated to Monica Lithna, unpublished, 2021. Beauty, oh beauty, how fleeting thou art, like a rose in full bloom soon to depart. Thy radiance shines bright but fades away, leaving us with memories that can only stay. In nature's grandeur, we see thy grace, a sunset's glow, a mountain's embrace. But as we gaze, we know it won't last, for time and change will soon be cast. And what of beauty found in others? The sparkle in their eyes, the gentle smother of a smile, that makes our hearts sing. But alas, it too will take its wing. And so we mourn for beauty's demise, for the loss of that which we cannot reprise. It's a bittersweet gift that life bestows, that we may know beauty and cherish those. Defunct Left Eyes, Part 2, Unpublished, 2021. We thought we were building a world of wonder, and we did it smiling with progress as our guides. But we can't appreciate love, so we tore it asunder. Now we see the wreckage that we've wrought, a dystopian future, a world for naught, our dreams of tomorrow, they blinded us to the truth that lay hidden, everything so ominous. We chased after a mirage, a false ideal, and in the end, we lost our only way, everything now surreal. The air we breathe, it's thick with poison, our minds, they're clouded, our reason frozen. We worship the screens, and not the sun, and in doing so, we've come undone. We are the products of our own demise, a generation that will be known for lies. We let the world crumble, without a single care, and now we're left with the ruins, everything so bad. We are the degenerated line, we with defunct, left eyes. The Exile of Atlantis, Part 2, Unpublished, 2021. Our backs were still so straight and our hearts full of a longing, as we left behind the madness, the madness that we created. Do you still remember us, dancing in the Emerald Halls? But in modern times we carry a grief we can't explain, a longing for something lost, something we actually forgot. We have forgotten so much, forgotten the path to the stars. The exile of Atlantis is more than a simple statement. It's unclear, in a revolution, for mankind, for you, for me. Watched over by godless gods, anything sacred, anything holy. A shift in thinking, scheduled, brief thoughts, like seasons, the search for our meaning, postponed, we need to start remember what began when we left those ivory white steps. Your own hell, rewritten, unpublished, 2023. Amidst the shadows and the haze, there lies a realm of awful despair. You create it by yourself, in a stare. I wander through its twisted maze, noting that this place, beyond repair, the air is thick with a sulfur scent. A lingering odor of endless torment, its inert fuel, dreams I have dreamt. Screams and howls now fill my ears, echoes that will never disappear. Will they? The ground beneath my feet is cold, getting colder as my dreams unfold. A barren wasteland, bleak and old, where nothing grows and nothing lives, and hope and light are mere fugitives. The creatures that inhabit this place are twisted, vile, and 
full of fear, with eyes that gleam with malice bright, and claws that rend with savage might. They will make my poor soul take flight, shake like a last dying leaf. I stumble on through this endless night, a prisoner in my mind, my own blight, getting haunted by my sins and fears, memories blended with nightmares. Have I been lost in this hell for years? No near end in sight, no hope in view, just endless pain and suffering true, a dark abyss that swallows me whole, my mind, it may be darker than dark, a place where even demons fear to go. How did I get like this? So if you ever in darkness chance to pass, this twisted land of shadows and glass, please think again, please think twice, beware of the self-made hell you'll find, for once you're lost, you'll never unwind, you'll never again find, a sanctuary. I try to find a way out of this fantasy, but the path is twisted, the way amiss, the shadows flicker, and the ground shifts, O oh, heavenly light, please end this insanity. I'm lost again in my own maze of rifts. Each step I take is heavy with dread. Each breath I take, a struggle to be fed, the despair and pain, a constant wait. How much longer can I withstand this hate? A hate that drags me down to my final fate. I am trapped in this world of the damned, a forgotten soul in my own desolated land. Please heed my warning, my final plea. Stay away from all things made of darkness. Stay away from the dark, the living shadows. From your created hell, shine and be free. The Debris, unpublished, 2023. The flames, they rose so high, a love that once was so pure, now turned dangerous and wild. We're burning bright for all to see. The heat may consume us, until we're nothing but debris. A Divine Way, unpublished, 2023. There's a time and season for everything, a purpose for everyone looking up at the sky. Have you observed your sky lately? A time to be born, a time to depart, a time to kill, a time to heal the heart, a time to tear down, and a time to restart, a time to weep, a time for joyous start. Everything fits under the sky. Everything from sunrise to sunset, day after day, does nature's rhythms follow a divine way? The Confessor, unpublished, 2023. The beach hold billions grain of sand. The sun has specks as many. The sky is filled with infinite stars above, and love has sorrows plenty. Believe my words, for I know them well. Don't test it out, she can tell. Like a prophet, warning of a fate, as youth will blindly rush to meet, despite the anguish that now await. Love's martyrdom will end in defeat. She will know what you have done. Become a confessor when passion abates. Night Terrors, unpublished, 2023. As you wake up with a start in the dark of morn, heart racing, breaths coming fast and you are worn, sitting up straight, staring into nothing, a black hole, feeling its pull, magnetic, as it swallows you whole. Quickly, get out of bed, and knock on a friend's door, ask to be held, ask to lie down on that wooden floor, listen to the whispered words that fills that void, transforming the darkness until it's destroyed. Stars now shining bright, awake the winter moon, fields covered in white, an owl in the distance ho-hos, rustling of leaves, nearby, people laugh, walking by, being held by a friend, until this terror is undone. A place called home, unpublished, 2023, my heart and soul aches to depart from this war-torn land so, so harsh. Away from shells and bullets that dart, that brings destruction in a sudden flash. Carry me across the ocean blue and wide, where the enemy and its fire can't reach. 
my deepest desire I can't any longer hide, to be safe, on a peaceful beach, alive. Oh, how I fear to meet my appointed end, meet it in this grey, dreadful battlefield. I long to see my loved ones and friends, and to escape this war's deadly yield. Take me silent gods, where I truly belong, where my memories and comforts roam. I pray with all my heart, I pray so strong, spare me, I only want a place called home. The Tale of the Severed Head, unpublished, 2023, they slit his throat and left his head there. Others went to retrieve it with some care. But the head kept falling out of the sack, no matter how many bags they would stack. They were taking the head to show to others, but it kept falling out, causing them bother. Finally, they left it in the middle of the road and went away, leaving it alone to behold. But the head followed them, rolling on its own, so the men climbed a tree to see if it would go. The head asked for fruit, fallen from the tree, but it kept asking for more, not letting them be. So the men threw all the fruit far, far away, hoping it would keep the head, finally at bay. While it was occupied eating, they ran away, the head came rolling after them to their dismay. They reached their hut and warned the others, to shut the doors and stay under covers. The head now demanded they open the doors, but the owners refused, fearing it even more. The head thought of what it could become, it had water, fruit, a house, it was so absurd. It asked the men for two balls of red twine, they threw it through a hole, like a lifeline. The head used the twine to climb up to the sky, and as soon as it reached the sun, it said goodbye. An arduous journey, but the men would soon lie, telling toned down stories to their loved ones. The Fleeting Time, unpublished, 2023, come back to me, my love so dear, with every step, draw ever near, your heart and soul belong with mine, together we'll define the fleeting time, come back to me, my love so dear, with every breath, defeat that fear, your blood so red, for me it flowed, a bond so deep, a debt bestowed, I long for you, I really need you so, come back to me, and never go, with every beat, my love will grow, the fleeting time, it is ours to slow, you've lost your path, gone astray, but I'm here waiting, night and day, just take my hand we'll find a way, together, forever, so come now, come what may, come with season, come back, come with your demon.